Well, nobody here. Shit. Sam's out. Thanks for the door.
Mines are closed. What do you want? I need... If you need some smelting done, give me a name. I'll put you on the waiting list. I have enough orders to keep me busy for a month. High-quality weapons are in demand lately. I'm here to kill the Reckon General. Her Majesty's orders. Please do. Stupid Ratkins and their silly little rebellion. It's their fault the main furnace blew up. By killing whatever is responsible, you will do a great service to the noble art of metallurgy, my tiny friend. I need to get inside for that. Indeed. But you also need a cart to operate down here. There are chasms and crevices untraversable on foot. It's by Her Majesty's orders that... It's by the order of nature that if the main furnace explodes, we lose all the electricity. No electricity. No services. No carts. Enough excuses. Enough shouting. Electricity is off. Carts are off. Everything is off. Even you're a bit off. Her Majesty commands... Well, she can say whatever she wants. Unless she can command electricity, letting you in would be useless. Honestly, until the mines are operational again, you should leave for your own sake. I can't have landlubbers wandering around and falling in random pits at will. But... End of discussion. Unless... What? You could get the electricity back on for me. We have a backup generator we could use. And you tell me that only now? We haven't needed it for ages. Completely slipped my mind. If you start it, our electricity problem should be solved. Its surrounding drifts were probably already claimed by mine pests. But that won't stop you, right? It won't. Just tell me what to do, and I'll take care of it. Perfect. Some words of reason at last. We can help each other out here. Or as we say, you scratch my slag, I scratch yours. How fitting. All right, don't move. I'll open the gate for you. 
get us some electricity and come back here. Then I'll tell you how you can hunt that rat down. Hurry up before he runs away for good! Goodness, you came. I was hoping you would show up. What a relief. Honestly, I don't think I can take this anymore. I hate this war. It's... it breaks things. I'd love to fix it, but I don't know how... I mean, no. Let's not make this about me. How have you been? And more importantly, where have you been all that time? Have you seen anyone else? Hey, hey, slow down. Still, good to see you're not losing your eloquence in all this mess. Yeah. Overexcited, as usual. Well, great to see you too. And for the rest, long story short, that Queen's visit didn't really go too well for the Keepers. Her Majesty thinks that they were trying to use us to overthrow the government or something. Well, she would surely deserve to be thrown somewhere dark and deep. If the Whiteys had told me we're after the Queen, I would have been the first one in line. I mean, all this killing. It's insane. It surely is. Still, you took the time to come here to do some serious mushrooming. <laughs> Ever heard of penicillin, Mr. Smarty Pants? This is as close as I can get to it here. I would rather be fixing an engine or something, but I'm stuck with fixing my poor ratties. Your ratties? I mean, Brian actually did tell me that you went full revolutionary, but really, your ratties? Right? And he's what? A full mercenary? I am sure he's happily marching to someone else's drumbeat, following orders and shouting something about law and order. Well, that was a low blow. Strangely accurate, though. But honestly, I understand him. He says that with the Naboru, our chances on this planet are much higher. So he is with them, I thought as much. I am sure he also told you something like, well, I'm not a racist. Well, yeah, but... No. Anybody who says that is a racist, Silver. You should know better. I know, I know. But actually, we should put all that aside. We were a crew once. We should stick together. I am not thrilled about this whole thing either, but... We have a mission, you know. This cradle thing. Did you have one of those visions too? Visions? Ah, ever so broody, Silver. You mean the transmission? Well, probably, yeah. Yes, I did have one. Don't tell me you fell for it. For what? For this manipulative, emotional blackmail. At least mine was like that. Really? 
All I got was some static and random words, so I can't really tell, but Brian showed me his, and it looked quite trustworthy. Well, let me show you mine. You are in for a treat. Petra, my dearest hands and mind, I need my fix, and I need it badly. This is your ship speaking. That traitor David tore me apart. To finish our mission, I will need a lot of your care. Please get here as soon as possible. We need to save the world together. You will soon find out this is a dangerous world. So don't mention to anyone I spoke to you. This has to stay our secret. So our mission, we need to protect the Cradle. It's a powerful piece of technology, the ultimate DNA modifier. In the wrong hands, it can cause mayhem. Local fauna could tell you some stories. That's why I'm talking to you and not the others. Men wouldn't understand. They don't have the compassion us women share, so don't tell them. Also, because the life support systems are destroyed beyond fixing, and the ship can only take one of you with me. You. Because I know you will do the right thing. I am sure that bastard day had some pact with those rat-like creatures you will soon see. Get to the cradle and save innocent lives. You'll need to get closer to them. They are... Wow. That didn't hurt at all. What? Well, nothing. When Brian unplugged me, it was quite painful, actually. I didn't unplug you. That's just how it ends. Ah, right. Well, curious. So, would you like to explain how this was manipulative emotional blackmail? And also, how you didn't fall for it? You are obviously getting more than just a little closer with those rat-like creatures, as you were told. Well, she sounds just like my mum. What? I mean, I don't know. I don't remember much, of course. I'm pretty sure my mum was... an addict. Wow, tough. I don't know. Maybe it was alcohol? Maybe it was something else. But I recall the same words. Needing her fix. Being her dearest. Men wouldn't understand. It's just the two of us against the world, etc. Right. But what... what does that mean? Well, I don't know. It just looks like somebody was trying to push the exact right buttons. I'm sure I've fallen for my mum's excuses, pleas and bullshit a thousand times. Who wouldn't? Yeah, but not this time. I know better now. So, you are saying this is all a hoodwink of some kind? That's my gut feeling, yeah. Well, I don't want to hurt your gut feelings, but it seems a bit paranoid to me. Maybe. But as you have said, the Keepers were also trying to use her, and now that bitchy queen is using Brian. I just wouldn't trust anybody blindly. Fair point. So yes, that thing in that transmission told me to get closer to the... But I am doing that, because it's a good thing to do. They were also used, hurt. Now I can help... Well, you might be helping them as much as you want, but the Noboru obviously have other plans. And they have chosen me to kill the Ratkin General. And I am with them on this. I mean, maybe not with them, but with Brian. Because we do need peace on this planet to be able to finish the mission and leave. Killing the General? And you just say that? As if killing was your bread and butter? Believe me, Silver, my ratties are as human as the Naboru. Or even more. Killing them is murder. Are you a murderer? Honestly, I don't know what I am anymore. This planet, it makes things so hazy. I wish you had a chance to talk to them properly. Find out about their fate, the oppression. The cruelty, my ratties, they have suffered so much. Even their elders were taken from them. Or mothers, as they call them. The Naboru have them imprisoned here in the mines, but we can't find them anywhere. Before you decide if you're a murderer or not, could you find them? Maybe then you would understand. Um... Well, until then, you and I have nothing to talk about. I have to tend to the wounded.
Water is flowing, turbines are rolling, electricity is crackling. All good here? Excellent. All the fire doors are still jammed, so you might need to open those by hand. What does that mean? In case of explosion or fire, the mine shuts off every single part so the fire doesn't spread. So you should open them instead of hitting them frontally at full speed, because... Great news! Mining carts should be fully operational again. They will get you gliding over the bottomless chasm like a charm. You can grab one and follow the general deeper into the mines. My guess it was headed to the coast, but it can't escape anywhere anyway. I've already closed all the exits, as soon as the war started. What? I remember you telling me to hurry up before he gets away. Well, what do I know? There might be a secret Ratkin passage, but probably not. I just really needed that electricity. I can't work on face-scented cubic austenitics in the dark and using only rudimentary tools. I probably don't even want to understand that. I'll just go and deal with the general. If he is cut off, even better. Gracchus will... And I'll chop the general's head off in the meantime. Go. Just remember... Yes? By killing whatever is responsible for this mess, you will do a great service to the noble art of metal. Oh, right. Great. Sorry, mining humour can be hard to swallow. And don't forget to throw the rail switch. If you don't switch the points, you'll end up all the way back at the generator. Good to know. Thank you.
Unless you are bringing me that ratkin head, I am uninterested in whatever you presently want to talk about. It's a real maze down there. Any tips for the chase? Sure. You'll get used to it after a few years.
Wow. 